These days, there is so much negativity around life in Canada. If you look at YouTube or Instagram, many immigrants are making videos why they're moving back to India. If you look at TikTok, many native Canadians are actually making videos why they want to move to US. And so it seems that almost everyone is unhappy about life here in Canada and wants to move out somewhere else. I have been making videos on this topic since I started this channel and often I get asked about the same question. When are you leaving Canada? Why don't you go back to your home country? Why are you not leaving Canada? So I thought why not talk about this and let me explain why I still want to live in Canada. I don't want to leave Canada anytime soon. So this is my way of counting the positives. If it is happening with me, it would be happening with a lot of you as well. And this would give you a reason to stay back in Canada. Okay, I know a lot of people are unhappy and want to leave Canada because of a couple of factors. Number one, lack of well-paying jobs, the higher cost of living and securing their Canadian PR. Which brings me to the first point that I'm really blessed about, the stability and the financial well-being. I landed in Canada in 2017 as a permanent resident with a job offer in my hand. Now, I don't want to boast about how much we earn, what kind of a lifestyle we have got. I won't say it's too much because I'm certainly not satisfied and want more. I won't say it's too less because we do live a comfortable life. Having said that, even we feel the pinch of higher cost of living whenever we go to a grocery store or to fill up my gas tank. But I do realize that is the case almost everywhere. Whenever I talk to my friends who are in India, they also complain about the higher cost of living in India. And many of my friends living in America or Europe also complain about the same thing. Whichever part of the world I go to, it's something which would be constant. Me leaving Canada to go to somewhere else won't solve the problem of higher cost of living for me. I need to concentrate more on my skills so that I can earn more and maybe be more comfortable in spending. Having said that, I do realize that a lot of people who came in before the pandemic got time to settle here in Canada. But a lot of those people who came after the pandemic, it got a lot more difficult for them. Times have changed. It's not a piece of cake to get the Canadian PR or easy to get a well-paying job. The higher cost of living is making life much more tougher. And that explains why people are unhappy and want to leave. But maybe these are some of the points which do not matter to you too much. Let's quickly talk about the other points. I absolutely love it here. Now again, it might be a different situation for you, but thankfully, me and my wife's family is around America. Somebody's in uh, US, somebody's in Canada. So it's easier for us. Canada is so beautiful. And even after spending seven years, I still get mesmerized looking at some places. I absolutely love traveling. Forget about going too far from your home. If you drive away from your home, maybe to some rural areas, you'd find so many beautiful places, so many hidden gems. And of course, it's proximity to America. Maybe in the last two years, I've made 12 to 15 trips. Doing the daily house chores is somewhat problematic for a lot of people. And it is also for me, just that I don't find it productive enough. But still, now, when you've spent some time here in this country or maybe abroad, then you get used to it. You, you evolve that way. You find ways to make your life a bit easier. You try to automate a few things. So while in your initial days, it feels like a big reason to go back to India. But later on, once you've spent some time, you get comfortable with that life as well. Now, of course, the cold weather is one concern which might be horrible at times. Over the years, I've realized that it is not that difficult to survive the cold, but rather it's difficult to survive that negative kind of a weather, the gloomy weather. That is something which you often want to escape. I found one good way for it. Maybe plan a trip to India in the months of January, February or March, somewhere around that. So basically, you go to India while it's brutally cold here but the weather in India is quite awesome. Now, safety and strict rules is another point. Recently, we heard about the horrific news of rape and murder of a doctor in hospital in Kolkata, India, 
my wife also works in healthcare. I've never heard concerns like that. Sometimes she would leave early in the morning before sunrise and sometimes she would come late in midnight. And most of the times I would be sleeping during that time worry free. Yes, she would usually share her live location and I would always be vigilant about her call just in case of an emergency. But women's safety is something that you don't have to worry about while you're in Canada. There are a lot of other things that we don't usually think about. I'll give you a small example. When my mother was here, she highlighted something which was not that important for me. I always overlooked it, but it was so important for her. Now, because of her age, she has some trouble in walking. The sidewalks here have ramped towards roads. That too, covered with rough patch of a metal, so it's not slippery. Now, I always overlooked it, but it was so helpful for my mother that she pointed it out. For everyone else as well, it might be something which you don't even care about, but small, small things like these make a huge difference in your life overall. Now, of course, in the last couple of years, the crime rates have increased, the car thefts have increased, which is not at all good. But somehow, these are not the reasons for which I would decide of leaving the country. Okay guys, the last but very important reason for me is hope. For a lot of you who came into Canada the last couple of years, you might have seen a version of Canada which we never saw earlier. I totally admit that there are a lot of problems these days and this is not something that we would have expected from Canada. No place can be problem free, but the amount and the type of problems that you have to face Nowadays in Canada was not something that we would expect until a few years ago. But I'm really hopeful that things would get better in the days to come. The current Trudeau government knows about it as well. They've started taking some concrete steps, but I think that would take a lot of time to reflect, which might not be enough for them to save their government in the elections next year. So if the new government comes in, they would need to take some concrete steps to prove that yes, they can improve the life of Canadians much better. I'm a person who's interested in geopolitics a lot and I do understand the impacts of these two wars that are going in Middle East and uh, Europe. Hopefully in the next one or two years, if that changes, then the cumulative effect of government taking some concrete steps, maybe the government change, the change in world order would make lives much better. I want to say that dynamics and situation is different for everyone. What might be true for me might not be true for you. But again, it depends on the particular situation. Maybe some things are working out for me, but not for you. Maybe your life is just horrible here. There's no hope to find a job. Now it might be next to impossible for some people to get PR. So even the stability is not guaranteed. In that case, it might be worth leaving the country. But for a lot of people who might be earning even better than me, who might have the stability as well, and a lot of other factors that we talked about earlier in the video, then I think hope is a very strong feeling. Things would get better in the years to come. Okay guys, towards the last, I want to say that dynamics and situation is different for everyone. Even for myself, there might arise a situation in the future when I might have to go back to India due to some family concerns or something else. Never say never. And maybe down the line, if I get some better opportunities, maybe in Florida, I was down there last month and it was just awesome. I love the weather. I might choose to move there, but that is not the plan, at least for the next four or five years for myself and my family. Wherever you live, you would have some pros and some cons some benefits and some drawbacks. You can't just choose the pros. If you choose a particular place to live, the pros would be there, but the cons would come alongside. Now you would need to choose the pros and the cons. If the pros outweigh the cons, then you choose to stay in that place. And if the cons outweigh the pros for you, then you may choose to leave the place. As I said in the starting of the video, there's a lot of negativity about life in Canada these days. I know there are a lot of people just like me who have the stability and financial freedom as well. So this video was just a try to filter out some positivity out of all the negative things that we hear about life in Canada. If you appreciate it, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. 
And also, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. Just click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.